Now let's understand the third one that is imperative. That means these sentences give some command, request somebody to do an action or advise somebody that how to do an action. Right? These sentences and normally these sentences end with a full stop but in certain sentences as I told you earlier it ends with an exclamation mark that you are going to understand in class 5. Let's see it with certain examples. First one is be quiet. That means I am ordering somebody to remain quiet. So it is a command sentence. And children here, remember one thing. My subject, that means to whom I am saying is always you. So sometimes it happens while writing this sentence. They ask for what is the subject. That means about whom we are talking. So it is always you. That means the person is speaking to another person. Give me some milk please. So it is a request. That means I am asking somebody. I am asking somebody to give me milk. Next is here also the subject will be you. That means I am telling you to give me the milk. Next is revise your lessons in time. That means I am giving an advice. I am giving a suggestion to you to revise your lessons well in time. So here also the subject is you. Children don't be you know don't be so worried about what is this. In the next class probably we will be going to understand what is subject and what is predicate. So you will be able to understand this well. You have to Remember one thing here that whenever it is a command sentence, request, advice, that means a suggestion. So it is always from one person to another person and to whom we are giving will not be mentioned in the sentence. So hope you have understood the explanation. Let us try with the help of this exercise and see how well we have understood. So children. Uh, chapter number 3 page number 7 D part please try this exercise I'll be sharing the answers later for cross checking thank you have a good day